Hi, welcome back. My name is Kevin Good. I'm from the William Grant Stell Art Center, and we welcome to Beginning Piano. Last week we learned, or the last couple of weeks, we were learning a song by Willie Bobo, uh, and we were using our ear to learn that song. Today we're going to flip it around a little bit, and we're going to talk about scales. Um, so it's great to learn songs by ear. It's great to learn songs by music. Uh, by reading the music as well. One of the other things, um, or one thing that, if we're going to go the ear route, one thing that I want to talk about is scales, because scales are still important. Scales basically help to strengthen your fingers. So even if you're learning something by ear, you should still practice scales a little bit, but the more songs you learn, the better you're going to get at playing the piano. Okay? So today I thought we would go over the C scale, the G scale, and then talk a, bit, a little bit about the circle of fifths and also a little bit more about learning by ear. So let's start out with the C, cell, C scale. I'm sorry. Uh, the C scale starts on C, of course, and then it goes up. And what you're going to do, remember, thumbs are always one. It doesn't matter if you're in your ref, left hand, your right hand, or your left hand. One, two, three, four, five. And then you're going to, when you're working on the C scale, you're going to start with your thumb, which is the first finger, one, then you're going to go to the second finger, two, three, and then you're going, to you're going to take your thumb and bring it under. One, two, three, four, five. Okay? So you're basically going one, two, three, bring your thumb under, one, two, three, four, five. And that will take us up to the octave C. So we would have then did one scale going up one octave. So watch me again. One, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. And then to come back down, you're gonna do the reverse. This time you're gonna start with your pinky and then you're gonna come back down. Five, four, three, two, one, three, two, one. Five, four, three, two, one. Your third finger over, on the E, three, two, one. Excellent. So you're going five, four, three, two, one. Third finger, you're going to bring it over, three, two, one. Okay? So I'm going to try going up and then coming right back down. Here we go. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. Five, four, three, two. Okay, what scales do, they help you um, muscle memory. Basically, the more you practice, your fingers are going to kind of know how to move around the keyboard, and they're going to know how to move around the keyboard in the right way, the relatively the right way, um, because everybody's hands are different. Some hands are larger, some hands are smaller, some hands are thicker, some hands are thinner. Um, so some, not all fingering is exactly the same, but there is a general um, consensus consensus with respect to fingering when you're playing the piano. So we just did one octave. Now let's take it and we're going to do two octaves. So it's one, two, three, one, two, three, four. But instead of playing with the fifth finger, we're going to bring our thumb all the way under and we're going to start it back over again. So watch me here. One, two, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. Awesome. Okay, so I see that I went off camera right there. So I'm going to start a little bit lower so that way you can see two octaves. Here we go. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. Excellent. And then to come back down, you're going to do exactly the same thing. Five, four, three, two, one. Third finger over. Three, two, one. This time the fourth finger over. Four, three, two, one. Three, two, one. Excellent. That is the C scale with the right hand. Next, uh, we'll do the C scale with the left hand. Remember, thumbs are always one, one, two, three, four, five. 
This time we are going to actually start with our pinky because we're going to go up the scale and then we're going to come back down. So it's going to be, we're going to do one octave first and then we're going to do two octaves. So for the left hand, C scale, it's going to be 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 3, 2, 1 for one octave. Here we go. It's going to be the reverse. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. Coming back down. One, two, three. This time your thumb under. See your thumb here? It's going to go under. One, two, three, four, five. Excellent. Let's do it. One up and coming back down. One more time. Five, four, three, two, one, three, two, one. And then come back down. One, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, and the same thing in the left hand when we're going up. If we don't stop at one octave, but we're going to go two octaves, we're going to go five, four, three, two, one, three, two, one, and then four, three, two, one, three, two, one. There is a pattern. So once you recognize the pattern, and once you get comfortable with the pattern, the pattern is going to help you in any song that you learn. Because we're doing the scale right now today in the key of C, and we might get to the key of G if we have time, but no matter what key, you have 12 keys, 12 major keys and 12 minor keys. And if you can accomplish and you can master all 12 major keys and minor keys, it's going to help you with any song that you learn because you will already know the accidentals in each of the songs. So let's try um, two octaves. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Over, three, two, one. Over, and this time the fourth finger. Four, three, two, one. Over, third finger. Three, two, one. Nice. Okay, now we're gonna come all the way back down. One two, three, thumb under, one, two, three, four, thumb under, all the way under, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. And then you can practice going up and down with the scales. And then eventually once you get, once you master the right hand, you master the left hand, then you can do two octaves. Or you can do both hands at the same time. Today we are only going to do one hand at a time. I want you to practice first with your right hand and then practice with your left hand. Okay, next we are going to talk about uh, the G scale. Okay, so the G scale is pretty much the same way. The only difference is there is one sharp. Remember early on I said sharps are a half step to the right, flats are a half step to the left. Okay, so now if we find G on the keyboard, G is right here, and it is, you have the three black keys. Remember the first white key before the set of three black keys is F, so the key right next to it is G. And then we're gonna take our right hand, and it is going to use the exact same fingering as the C scale. The only difference is whenever we see the F sharp, the F, we're not gonna play an F, we're gonna play an F sharp. So let's try it. Uh, right hand, thumb on G, and our five, five finger position, and here we go. One, two, three, thumb under. One, two, three, not F, but F sharp. Four, five, good. And we come back down. Five, four, three, two, one, thumb over, three, Exactly the same, only this time we start once again with our pinky. So we place our pinky on G. Five, four, three, two, one, three, two, one. We come back down. One, two, three, one, two, three, 
four, five, and back up and down again. Five, four, three, two, one, three, two, one, and then come back down. One, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. Excellent. So you might ask, Kevin, why did we jump from C to G? Why didn't we go to C to D? Well, there is something called the circle of fifths. So I'm going to turn around, come over here, and we're going to talk about the circle of fifths. All right, so with the circle of fifths, basically, you start at high noon. High noon is C. And then you are going to come, you're going to basically, if you were looking at the keyboard, you would just count up five steps. So five white keys. One, two, three, four, five. And then from that point on, you are at G. You're in the key of G. And G, if you look at the circle of fifths, G has one sharp, and that one sharp is F, F sharp. And if you'll notice, as you keep going around the circle of fifths, the sharps continue to add. So we start with D sharp, I mean, we go to D, and then we have two sharps. We have C sharp and F sharp. Then we go to A, we have three sharps, E, and so forth. All the way till we get all the way back around. And at a certain point, we get to where you have sharps and flats both together. Those are known as enharmonic scale. They can be enharmonic scales. So it can be written two ways, two different ways. But for right now, we're not going to worry about that. We are on C and we are on G. So that's what I wanted to cover with you guys today. And once again, learning scales are going to strengthen your fingers. When they strengthen your fingers, it's going to help you to be able to uh, learn other songs uh, because you're, if you're playing by ear, almost all songs that you're going to learn are going to have a key. So if you know the key and you already know the skills for that key, it's going to make you that much, it's going to make it that much easier and that much quicker for you to learn that song. Okay? So that's it for today. I hope you guys, I hope it was a great lesson. Um, take it easy, stay safe, and blessings, and I will see you guys next week.